I'm out here in Whistler, and Whistler brings a lot of mountain bikers. So I'm going to go find the coolest rigs out there, because I know there's a few out there. There's one. Oh, I like this. There's no rider. Well, this is a nice bike, a kind of super bike, and it's all locked up by itself. But look at the hoses match the frame. This is a canyon sender, CF, which means it's the carbon fiber one. The orange race face pedals to match that. <gasps> orange, what are they? They're PT. Those are PD. Look at that. Steve Pete valves. You've got these, um, I think, what are these? Maguras, but you can customize these Maguras to whatever color you want. So he's gone for the orange round bits in the caliper, four pot calipers, orange coil, obviously being the fox color. Oh, look at that, Troy Lee ODIs, or ODI Troy Lee designs. Now, I like this. I think that's a, I think it's a super nice, super nice. Okay, we are in Whistler Bike Park here with Isaac. Isaac, how's it going, bud? Good, you? Yeah, mate, not too bad. Tell us what you're riding, mate. Uh, riding the Da Vinci Marshall uh, X Small, so it's 27.5 wheels. And is that 27.5 front and rear? Yep. Nice. Have you customized it in any way? Uh, new tires, new grips, and we changed the brake um, levers. Hey, I like it. I'm liking sort of the, the frame protection on yeah. top. It's pretty trick. This little fender you got going on. It's cool. What have you been riding today? Uh, we did some airline, some Ninja Cougar, and a bit of beeline to Sunshine Rolly Drops, and uh, all of that stuff. Dude, sounds sick. You gotta watch out for those Ninja Cougars. Thank you very much, Isaac. Cheers, dude. Well, I've come across this one, Pivot, and I like this. This is Julian. Uh, tell us ab about your bike. Well, it's a build Firebird uh, XDXDR. It's the carbon frame, uh, Fox factory suspension. It's the Fox 38 uh, with the grip 2 damper, um, carbon bars, XT Shimano brakes, uh, Ergon grips, I love those, uh, Scara pedals, I have had like three pairs of these, they're perfect. Cool, he is so switched on about his bike. Yeah, um, DT Swiss uh, rims. That look like you're using quite, quite well because you got a puncture. <laughs> yeah, uh, in a rock roll uh, in Garbanzo zone. Yeah, I, I got like into a rock and punctured. So yeah, and Asse guy Maxis tires, um, and race face cranks, and that's basically it. Super nice, I like it, super nice, thanks. Right, Whistler Bike Park brings in some rad shredders, and we've got Jared Graves here. Right, let's talk about your bike, because it looks pretty rad. It's a full, yeah, the was SP150 team spec, I guess, like Fox 38, um, all the Shimano good stuff, XTR, DT wheels. I think the only difference between my bike and the team bikes is the HT pedal. That's just a personal deal. So, and then we got Whistler spec rear tire. You know, nice and bold already. Uh, How many days is that? That this is day two on this tire. So day two on a freshie. Yeah, day two on a fresh tire. One up uh, stem. Can't really think. It, there's there's nothing nothing uh factory. Oh, sorry, factory about this bike. I guess it's just uh, full stock. Um, yeah, just that's it. Okay, set it up, just run it. There's a few things I'm going to point out. I love these. These are for your number board. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah, so. And then this tape. Yep. That's that's all the uh, the Sean Hughes special touches. Like this for the number plates, the two zip ties. You can thread just an M6 bolt into there, and I think we buy them by like the thousand packs. So they're it's pretty cool just to have like your number board just like solid on there. No zip ties. Like I mean, it's still zip ties, but just keeps it looking clean. And yeah, like you said, you can use like rotor bolts to go exactly, in there yeah, and then totally. so just keeps it looking a bit cleaner and no plates flapping about you know just a good little good little touch super nice i'm a big fan of yeti and so is mr ashton right we've got jordan here with your magnificent santa cruz bronson cc tell us a bit about your bike because i think it's super nice oh, thank you um it's upgraded from the 2019 i cracked my frame Ooh. so uh, it was during the COVID thing so they didn't have any frames so they gave me a brand new 2022 frame and then I decided just to build up uh, a bit of custom with some Marzocchi suspension front and back, uh, DC Swiss wheels, a bunch of one-up components, local Squamish company, uh, chrome egg seat, and yeah, I love it. It absolutely rips. I see you repping the Garmin up front. Like yeah. it, like it. You got a pump, water bottle. What other little features have you got on your bike? Uh, little features. Um, like I stickers or something. Stickers, I got my ride or die. 
stickers, get a ride or die, uh, support local Coast Gravity Sunshine Coast Company, and work less, ride more. I like that one. Work less, ride more. Super nice. Live Cheers for to live by. Yeah, he is. Nice. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, man. Right, I'm here with Louise. He's all the way from, where are you from? Ecuador. Ecuador. That's yeah. miles away. You're here for a week. But I've pulled you aside because I, I actually love your bike because I've got the same one. What is it? <laughs> it's a uh, Canyon Turk. I like all the purple bits. Tell me a bit more about your bike. Uh, like your features that you have, bar width and stuff like that. Yeah, so like it's pretty stuck, you know, like I just turned it um, tubeless. So I have purple valves. Uh, I like the purple. Yeah, it's 12 speed, crankbar and pedals and it's, yeah, you know, like pretty nice, pretty smooth on the trail and everything. Nice, I like it. Is it, have you got it, because this has got a flip chip, so have you, have you gone high or low? I have it low because I think it's more like steep for downhill and everything and it feels really comfortable like that. I like it. I like the pink bottle. If I had one, I need one because I got pink helmet. Um, do you want it? I can nice, it it's yours. You need the liquid, man. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. That's a super nice. Right, his mate's over there. Let's go and look at his bike. Right, here we go. This one. This one's got quite a special story behind it. This is Mateo. Mateo, tell us about it. So I got the inspiration from you. I saw it in your video, so I say I need this bike. It's a Canyon CF Mullet. So it's first time I am running a Mullet setup. It's pretty interesting. It's a Canyon Spectral, size large. It's pretty much a stock. You just change the pedals and yeah, pretty much that's it. So the story is, right, that he flew over here from Ecuador I didn't know this, but that was his brother. That is your yeah, brother. Yeah, that's my brother. So the two brothers out here riding. He bought it in Vancouver, and uh, you bought it when you, you was been partying a lot. Yeah, I, I was like partying a lot, and when I received my bike like around February, I said, now I just want to ride bikes, and I like mess it up with all my friends, so just to go and ride every day. So he hasn't actually fully set up because he said he needs to cut your bars down. What is your preferred bar width? Well, uh, this one are seven, uh, yeah, seven ninety. Maybe I gonna cut it to a uh, seven seventy because, like, I feel when I ride these sticky stuff, uh, maybe like my bars are a little bit too wide, so I can touch like the trees sometimes, and it's uncomfortable for me. I like it. Spectral, super nice with the coil. We've just been wandering. Come look at this. I've just spotted a weird bike. Sorry. Come this way. Look at this gold member. It's given my gold bike a run for its money, actually. So it looks like a Niner RockShock RS1 upside down forks. 27.5 front and back. It's a bit old school. Yeah. What are you thinking, Mark? Plus tires. Don't see them very often. Plus tires, yeah. guide brakes, externally rooted. This thing's a blast from the past. Did you, you probably rode one of these like back in the 60s or something? Yeah, I, I think I did. Yeah, Martin rode it back in the 60s. Yeah. Those are some weird and wonderful bikes of Whistler.